This is the OK State Sports Report on the Triple Play Sports Radio Network. Now with all the latest on the pokes, here's Jordan King. Happy Monday to you. I hope you had a great weekend. Christopher Ventura, 24 years old from Oklahoma State University. Played in just eight events this season. Won twice, came in third twice, sending him off to the PGA Tour. That from the Corn Ferry Tour Periscope live stream on Twitter yesterday evening when former Oklahoma State Cowboy National Championship golf team member Christopher Ventura was given his PGA Tour card. He closed the regular season with a bang. Although he shot just two under on his final round, the Pokes from Norway finished third in the Winco Foods Portland Open with an eye-popping 19 under par. That moved him into the top five of the Tour's point rankings, which is important in terms of Tour card priority, and he's sitting pretty heading into the playoffs. He will be joined by fellow National Champion teammate Victor Hovland in the playoffs as Javi has to earn his tour card. Kevin Doherty will also be competing in the playoffs. He was cut this weekend and finished outside the top 25, so he also has to earn his card. Although pro golf is bright for former Cowboys, Edward Lohr suffered a gut punch yesterday on the 18th when he saw his birdie putt come less than an inch to the left of the cup and would not fall. That meant he missed out on a shot at the playoffs by a single stroke. Lohr tweeted out afterwards, I chose a cruel sport to play for a living. Sometimes I wish I didn't love it so much. Not sure what's next, close quote. Over to the PGA Tour and the PGA Tour playoffs. Wasn't a great weekend for the Pokes. Nothing noteworthy from the top two Cowboys in points as Charles Howell III and Ricky Fowler were both cut. As for Taylor Gooch and Matthew Wolf, both played the weekend but both finished one over. That means neither will advance and Wolf's great rookie year comes to a close. He missed out on the next round by just four spots. Kevin Tway had struggled recently heading into the playoffs and though he didn't play four great rounds, he was the best of the bunch. He finished seven under for a tie for 24th and will join Fowler and Howell in the next round of the playoffs. Quickly, over to some cowgirl soccer news as they are now just five days till their first exhibition match at Neil Patterson Stadium against Tulsa on Friday. Coach Colin Carmichael and several players met with the media Friday evening and Carmichael talked about his team in the preseason. Last year the cowgirls dealt with a bunch of injuries, perhaps none bigger than the season-long loss of Charmay Morgan. Carmichael on how she looks this preseason. To me it looks like she's back to where she was prior to the injury. You know, she's confident, she's got her pace, her change of speed back. And so what it means to the team is in the shape we play with wingbacks, the demand on that position is huge. They have to get up and down the flank and they have to be relentless and just keep running. Keep it tuned in here on Triple Play Sports Radio for more sound from Cowgirl Soccer throughout the day. I'm Jordan King. Do you have friends who are pokes on Facebook or Twitter? Check out the 9 a.m. sports report every day on social media and share it with your cowboy and cowgirl friends. This has been the Oklahoma State Sports Report with Jordan King. For all the latest in cowboy and cowgirl sports, stay tuned to your only home for sports talk with an orange flavor. The Triple Play Sports Radio Network.